How y'all doing? All right. Process of reintegrating yourself into this offense. Obviously, you know, you kind of had to come back off that injury, hit the ground running, uh, no pun intended. Uh, but how does it feel, you know, in that process and knowing that you still got a little bit to go here? Right. So, I mean, first of all, it's great to be back, you know, out here working with my brothers, you know, uh, learning a new system. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, for me is kind of understanding, um, learning, get, building that chemistry with my quarterbacks. Um, definitely learning the system, the plays, where they want me to be, um, and the timing of everything. That's that's essential and that's crucial, you know, to any offense. So I think that's the biggest thing for me right now, trying to get um, the rhythm and the timing down of the plays um, and where they want me to be at the right time. The last time we had a chance to talk to you, like, was I think last year sometime, and the season for you ended on such a difficult note, right? Like nobody wants to be taken out of a stadium on a stretcher. Just what was that like for you? How long did it take for you to recover from that? I mean, you, went to, you had to go to the hospital. Right. Um, you know, it's funny enough, like I get that question a lot and uh, crazy enough, I mean, I don't really remember the, the incident. <laughs> Um, but the recovery side, you know, was probably the biggest thing for me, um, you know, kind of realizing that I did go through something that was um, a, a little bit of trauma. Um, and, you know, in the, the next few weeks, kind of the symptoms I would feel and stuff and having to shake back from that was kind of my, my biggest deal. But the incident itself, you know, I couldn't tell you what happened, you know, without seeing the video. <laughs> Just makes you take inventory of, of not just your career but your life when, right. when something like that happens. Right, right, right. It just makes you appreciate the things. You know, my birthday wasn't wasn't long afterwards, so it really makes you appreciate everything in life. What was the official diagnosis from that? It was a concussion. Yeah. So how you felt out here though throughout camp, feeling close to 100 percent? Yeah, yeah, feeling really good. You know, um, training staff done a great job of you know kind of working me back in slowly. Um, you know, and helping me hit the ground running, like she said, you know, so it's feeling really good out here, and, uh, you know, I'm loving it. Were there any, when you get back onto the field for this training camp, was there anything that you, like, mentally need to get through to get here, or was it just all systems go once, once you... Uh, you know, mentally, um, I think it was more playbook, playbook-wise, you know, because it's a new playbook, and I'm a guy that needs to do it to learn it. Um, but I think it was a lot of physical aspects, you know, I mean, I... Uh, as she mentioned, I hadn't lined up in front of anybody um, since that incident. Um, so, you know, physically I had to get my feet under me um, and understand my movements and everything and get back to myself uh, completely. So. How long did it take you to heal from, from that concussion? Um, <laughs> if I tell you, it would probably be like three weeks. Let my mom tell you. Maybe I still have it real, you know, but, but I would say like three weeks, four weeks, something like that. Russ, what do you say about this new offense with Dave Canales? Do you see it as being like dynamic, something different that maybe you haven't experienced before? Um, so I really love the offense, you know. Honestly, it's something that I am used to. Um, you know, I remember being ATL and we kind of, um, you know, took over the, the Kyle Shanahan offense. And it, I see a lot of uh, similarities in that. Um, you know, a lot of lot of deep shots, a lot of quick game, but you know, I, I'm actually pretty used to it, um, and I I really like it. It's, you know, he's gonna be a lot of explosive plays, but he's also a take what you what they give you type guy. You know, and I think that's really essential um, for our offense. You know, moving the ball down the field, so it's it's kind of familiar. This offense is going to have a lot of emphasis on the yards after the catch. How does that tailor to your game specifically, and how will that help you this year? That's going to be big, I think, for me because, you know, I'm a, you know, create separation type of guy. So, um, you know, if it's quick game, I create separation, I catch the ball, now I have room to run. So, um, you know, it's going to tailor to me, I think, a lot, you know, moving forward. Oh, man. Honestly, it's tough to tell. These boys are really going at it. You know, I see them every day. Um, you know, I saw them back. Um, before OTAs when they were throwing, they both look really good, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see, you know, anybody, um, you know, taking an edge on the other guy or anything like that. You know, they throw the, they throw the deep ball really well, both of them, you know. So um, it's kind of hard to see anything, you know, different between the two. You and uh, Trey Palmer, the Louisiana boys, have you taken him on your wing? What is your relationship like with him? Great much, Trey. 
<laughs> Y'all tell him I said that. <laughs> nah, that's my boy, man. Um, you know, definitely. Uh, as soon as he got here, I could definitely see his Louisiana personality coming out. You know, uh, it's something about Louisiana guys. You know, we, we, we see each other, we just kind of connect. So uh, definitely, you know, it's definitely taking him on, under my wing. Say you're at in terms of, of physically, because I know that everybody else kind of had a, a, a normal ramp up period, but you're kind of having to accelerate that yeah. uh, because you were injured. Where would you say you're at in terms of, of being in, sh in playing shape? Yeah, I would say I'm getting there for sure. Um, you know, that's a good question, actually, because I'm, I'm still trying to work on, you know, certain things, you know, two minute, um, you know, uh, that's always the biggest thing uh, as far as conditioning and everything is, is you can't imitate it. You can do all the running you want, but you can't imitate it until you're actually out there in it. So, you know, it's just certain things that I'm, I'm definitely um, catching up on, but I'm getting there. You haven't dealt with many injuries in the past. I mean, only didn't have four games while you were in Atlanta. So what can you say that you've learned from that experience of having to recuperate from injuries and getting back on the field? And I think that was the biggest thing for me last year. I, I, didn't, I didn't have the biggest, you know, maintenance control over my body. Um, I think, you know, so that injury definitely taught me a lot, taught me a lot of, you know, pre-game, pre-practice uh, routines that I'm, you know, going to start doing now to kind of get my body right. But like you said, the biggest thing is I didn't have many injuries. So it's kind of hard to practice those things when you, you know, you just kind of feel good and you go out and play. So, um, you know, it taught me a lot of things like that. And uh, moving forward, I think it's going to help me, you know, to stay on the field. Leg, I know Coach Bolson said it was a leg injury, but what, um, and when did you sustain it? Like, um, it's kind of just been the same thing. So. That hand, left hamstring, just something that was nagging for a long time, you know. Um, you know, like I said, it's something I, I hadn't really dealt with, you know, in my career. So didn't know the proper ways to kind of approach it, you know. And, you know, but training room did a great job of helping me, helping me attack that area and, and really make that area stronger, for, you know, for moving forward. Better learn that in the off season than, than having to learn some of those lessons in regular season. Right, exactly. Russell, Coach Foles talked about you being a really cerebral player and, um, you know, looking forward to you being back at um, full tilt. Um, did it change your work ethic, you know, coming out here and, um, you know, um, having a, a harder road to plow, if you will, than you normally would not coming off of an engine? Um, I wouldn't say it changed my work ethic, but it gave me something different to work for, you know. I mean, working toward the injury, and I talked to Chris a lot. You know, last year, him coming off of his injury, I mean, he, he kind of mentored me in that area because it gets discouraging at times, you know, uh, mentally because you know what you can do and you just physically, your body is not capable of, of doing it, you know, and that difference of being hurt and injured, you know, um, is a fine line. So I think, I think the work was more in the area of, okay, how do I navigate this? How do I, you know, become who I am? Um, and I had to find out that I need to put that work in in a different area, you know, to be the player that I want to be. Just when you think you're growing up, you got more growing up to do. Exactly. Do <laughs> you feel like you have something to prove this year out on the field? One time. Do you feel like you have something to prove this year out on the field? I mean, definitely, always. You know, the brand is Wake Em Up Russ. <laughs> so, so always. All right, that's all right. Thank you, Thank you guys.